Yeah, we've had our Morgan Wolf out checking on road conditions. She was on the east side at 4 o'clock, and now she's on the near west side. They've moved to Monroe Street. Morgan, uh, what can you tell us about the conditions there? Well, John, like you mentioned, we've kind of been all over right now, and we were on the Beltline earlier today. That looked pretty clean. Let's take a map right now. You can see that there really hasn't been too much activity as far as it goes with accidents. The interstate and the Beltline have been salted by the county, and they're looking pretty drivable right now. But, hey, we are over on Monroe Street where you can see that this road's a little slushy, but believe it or not, this is pretty clean compared to the neighborhood roads. Let's have you take a look over here down at these roads that have not been sanded. Those ones are the ones that you are really going to want to look out for, especially in this area. The Madison Streets Division says that they have some really hilly spots over off of Monroe Street that people are going to want to look out for. Now, the Madison Streets Division has about 32 plows out right now working, and they say they will bring out the full force and all of that extra work that they have once we hit that three inches of snowfall. But for now, they got to stick to that sand because they say under 15 degrees is when it's too cold to use that salt. So if you have any requests of some areas that you would like sanded, you can contact them on the city of Madison.com. For now, live in Madison, Morgan Wolf, NBC 15 News. Oh, and frigid temperatures continue in our area. It's, of course, making a mess on the roads and potentially even in our homes. Our team coverage continues with Morgan Wolf, who is live on Madison's west side with the latest road conditions. Morgan? Hey, John. Well, we started tonight over on the east side. And like you said, we have made our way over to the west side. But in the last 40 minutes, I saw two cars being towed away. One of them came from Odana Road over here. Check out these tire marks. You can see it leads straight up into this tree where we have some debris down here. This looks like it might have been a bad little slide off. And it's not the only one. I spoke to some Dane County officials earlier tonight that say they have had several crashes. Let's take a look at that traffic map right now. You can see that the interstate right now is the one that is a little pink. There was a crash earlier today in Stoughton where there was someone injured. And then there's been about five other crashes after that. But uh, the dispatch center says that there wasn't anyone hurt at those crashes. Now, Madison has about 32 plows out working right now. And they say that they'll keep them working through the night. They are sanding because it is too cold for that salt. It is under 15 degrees is when they cut off that mark. And so they have to switch over into the sand. And so they say they will be working through the night and hopefully everyone will continue to drive safe and drive slowly. We do not want any more crashes like this one here behind me. If you want any more information on what you can check out, you can just hit the Madison uh, City website and they will have some more information, helpful tips for you guys. For now, live in Madison, Morgan Wolf, NBC 15 News.